Okay, it's fall. I don't actually know when the first day of fall is, but I've decided that it's today, which means that it's time to break out the ABH subculture palette. Uh, people have been asking me to do the reverse smoky, is it reverse smoky eye or reverse cat eye? I can't remember. Um, look, which I was like, okay. Um, and I figured like, I don't know, I just feel like this is like such a good smoky palette. Like I might as well use this. So that's what we're gonna do today. So I'm gonna start off with my waterline. I'm gonna be using the cream gel liner by ColourPop. This is in the shade Best O and it's just like a dark plum. Um, okay, so since I have to be even, I'm just gonna put that on this other waterline, but I'm gonna switch it up and I'm gonna use a Revlon liner because this isn't really doing it for me. I think it's dried out, it's probably old. So this is Revlon. Revlon's so fierce in the shade. I have absolutely no idea. Oh, Righteous Rum. <laughs> and it's, once again, it's just like a really deep burgundy plum. So I'm gonna take this on my waterline and then I'm gonna drag just a little bit of it onto my lower lash line. And then when I get to the outer corner, I'm just going to kind of blend it into like my upper water line, but just here, just in the outer corner. And then I'm just going to extend that lower lash line just a teeny bit with the liner, just like right there on either side. I'm gonna grab a little pencil brush and just do some buffing. I don't want to take this out too far yet, so I'm just pulling in rather than dragging out. All right, just for a little bit of insurance, I'm going to bake a little bit underneath my eyes, which I don't typically do using my LC Cosmetics powder, just in case, because these are pretty pigmented. So I'm gonna put a decent amount of powder along the side of my nose and underneath my eye, just to prevent fallout from ruining the rest of my makeup. All right, so I'm actually going to start off with Rowdy. This dark color right here, I'm gonna use that same brush that I blended the liner with, and I'm just focusing it on the tip of the brush. And I'm gonna use that to kind of like set this outer part. So I'm keeping it tight to the lash line. And I'm basically just gonna drag that like halfway. Okay, I'm gonna grab a new wave, which is this like warm orange color on just like a little blending brush. Focusing that on the tip on the tip of the brush, tapping it off. And then looking up, I'm gonna use that to blend that outer edge. Once again, keeping it just about halfway. I'm gonna use that to slowly blend this out. And then going in with that small brush once again, I'm gonna grab All Star, which is kind of like a, I don't know, like a mid-toned red brick color. I'm gonna go just between those two colors. Ziva, why are you making so much noise? Going back in with a blending brush and just like bringing that red out a little bit. Okay, and then for the inner part of the lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with Edge, which is like a little bit more of this like kind of mustardy yellow. I'm actually just gonna wipe off that same little pencil brush. Cause I'm lazy. And I'm gonna buff that in the inner corner. Or the inner part of the lower lash line, whatever, I always mess those two up. <laughs> All right, I'm dusting away the stuff we were baking with. Don't think I got like too much fallout, but I caught a little bit. And then for my lid, I'm just gonna go into my Elsie powder and set those. Cause I went in with a little bit of um, eyeshadow primer before I uh, decided to even do this look. <laughs> All right, I'm using this little refer brush. This is the 03 brush, just like a little, little, little guy. And I'm gonna pick up, I think this red right here, whatever that's called, All Star, just on the tip of that. And I kind of just wanna like define this inner corner a little bit. I 
Just add like a little something to it, you know? All right, and then I'm gonna use that same brush. I'm gonna pick up that first shade we used, Rowdy, that really dark shade. I'm just going to do a little bit of deepening of the wing just on the outer part right there. I forgot how pigmented these shadows are, dude. You really don't need a lot. I'm gonna wipe off my brush and then just kind of like sharpen the top and then kind of just buff it down a little bit. Cause it's basically a reverse smoky wing. All right, and then for the lid or crease, like I just kind of feel like I want a little something there. So I'm gonna use my Morphe M521 brush and I'm gonna pick up Dawn, which is just kind of like this um, slightly warmer, like nude color. And I'm gonna use that just to add like the tiniest bit of some, ow, of something to like right out here. So I'm buffing it into the crease only on the outer part. And then I'm just gonna kind of like blend it out. So just adding like the teeniest bit of definition and color. So it doesn't look like completely disconnected, but just a small amount. Up to the tail of the brow. All right, I'm just gonna go in and do some highlighting with my Vesca highlighter. All right, guys, I'm gonna curl my lashes with my new Refer Curler, it's my favorite. And I'm gonna apply a little bit of mascara, and then I'm gonna go in with my Ardell Demi Wispies Faux Mink. All right, guys, this is the finished look. How are we feeling about this? Do you like it? I think it's interesting. I like don't wear full glam smoke like this anymore really. So it's a little like, you know, um, but I think it's kind of badass. It's very just like, what? You know what I mean? Like what? Um, all right guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I know that you wanted me to create a look like this and you know, I think it's pretty fire. I gotta say, uh, reverse cat eyes or reverse smoky eye, whatever the fuck it's supposed to be, is always just like a really dope way to make something look like super edgy and wear like more minimal makeup. Like you don't have to wear like all these colors, you know, you can just like do a little bit of smoke underneath there with some liner and maybe like a taupe shade even. Um, and it just looks like in instantly cool. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I feel like I look like such a bitch. <laughs> I'm okay with it. Um, let me know what you want to see next. And honestly, like, tell me because um, when it's fall, like, I literally just want to use my subculture palette. And I realized that I only use like a few shades from this because it was really more about the look. Um, but I want to dip in. I was honestly, I was, I was considering, I was planning on going in with greens. I don't know what happened. Uh, but I need to, I need to go into those greens. I have to do it. Uh, like the, the, I think the yellow and the greens. Like I just have to. So let me know if you wanna see that because I will absolutely do it. Uh, all right guys, hope you enjoyed. Thanks so much. Let me know your thoughts on ABH subculture. Like, do you have it? Did you keep it? Did you love it? I feel like, I don't know. I just feel like as far as eyeshadow palettes that I was just like gravitated to towards immediately and like just so unique and really just kind of like changed the fall game, you know? And I just, I can't get rid of this palette. Like I just, even when I declutter, I'm just like, nope, never. The velvet outside, the like yellow, like I just, oh, everything is so good. Okay, I'm gonna go. Bye. There's definitely eyeshadow in my water. Tastes like it.